So my name is Dr. Andy Philby. I'm the head of the flow cytometry core facility here at Newcastle University in the United Kingdom. So my lab specifically works on all things to do with cytometry. So we're a core facility, therefore we support and underpin a number of different research themes here at Newcastle University by providing a cutting edge flow cytometry service to the researchers at Newcastle. And we also um, work quite extensively with a number of groups um, across the world. So when we um, use CFSC to track proliferation by dye dilution, sometimes we can see um, quite a large impact on cell viability. What we find that we have to do then in order to combat that is to lower the concentration of CFSC. And one of the risks we have by doing that is that we end up then with a population of cells which are not labelled brightly enough in order to um, be able to detect as many rounds of proliferation as we would like. What we found is that sometimes if we use concentrations above maybe one micromole, we can end up with a very high degree of toxicity where we lose maybe 80 to 90% of our cell population. If we drop to a lower concentration of CFSC, we can preserve the viability, but we then maybe fail to have the intensity of the starting population that we need to give us enough space to be able to track the number of divisions that we expect to see. So in my opinion, CFSC and Cell Trace Violet, if you compare them head to head, in our experience um, of looking at these dyes, we have decided that Cell Trace Violet in our hands is certainly a superior dye. For me, it's because it's very non-toxic, um, it labels the cells very, very brightly, and it gives very, very nice peak resolution even in cell types such as B cells or transform cells, which are more challenging typically to um, be able to resolve division history from. So in my opinion, based on the work my lab's done over the last few years, comparing CFSC and Cell Trace Violet to one another, I think it's fair to say that Cell Trace Violet should be considered the new gold standard for performing proliferative tracking by dye dilution. <laughs>